Hey guys and welcome to a brand new episode here on Flow Shop. My name is Joseph. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to do a complete retouch using only Camera Raw. We're not going to open Photoshop at all. We're just going to stick inside of Camera Raw. So we're, what we're going to do is do some spot healing, dodging and burning, color grading, all inside of Camera Raw. So without wasting much time, I'm going to show you how to turn your images looking like this to this inside of camera raw all right so the first thing that we're going to do is open up our basic panel and what we're going to start off is i'm going to change the profile to maybe adobe color that makes it a little bit moody and it's something that i kind of like and i'm going to cool down the image just a little bit so i'm just going to pull the temperature all the way down to somewhere like so i'm going to add a little bit of tin so i'm cooling it and adding some kind of magenta to the image and so i'm just going to move that also up to about this point now inside this panel this is where we're going to make quite a number of adjustments and so we're going to start off by adding contrast i don't want to touch the exposure much just about now so i'm just going to add just a little bit of contrast to the image I'm going to skip the highlights and I'm going to go straight into the shadows and I'm going to open up the shadows just a little bit as well. So that is going to go up to about this point until I see a little bit of information coming back into the image. So right about this point is fine. I'm going to go into the blacks and I just want to darken down the blacks just a little bit. So I'm going to move that also down. Still looking at the image just to make sure it's looking the way I want it. Now I don't like pushing the clarity slider a lot so I'm going to skip that and go to dehaze. In case you don't see dehaze in your camera raw, probably it's because it's not updated. And so um, update it to the latest version. I'm currently using 10.3, but if there's a higher one, why not? Just update it. So I'm gonna move the dehaze. I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, dehaze just about this point. And I'm gonna push the vibrance, uh, maybe actually, and just pull it down just a little bit like so. I'm not gonna touch saturation as well. And I'm gonna move on to the next tab. Now inside the tone curve tab, we're gonna make a few more adjustments. And so I'm gonna increase my highlights just a little bit because I want to add a little bit more light into the bright areas of the image. I'm gonna go into the lights and I'm also gonna add a little bit more lights because I'm creating like a, a small S curve. I don't want it to be too much, just, just a little bit of an S curve. So inside the darks, I'm gonna go down as well. So I'm gonna darken down the, um, the darks like so and i'm gonna open the shadows by reducing the figure and also darkening it down which is helping me create more of an s gap so somewhere about this point it's great all right so the next tab is the detail tab and i normally don't do anything here maybe we'll come back and try it out but i'm gonna skip straight to the hsl and i'm gonna start off with a hue tab so inside the hue tab i'm just gonna increase my reds because there's a lot of red in her skin i just want to increase that um, to about this point Somewhere in between I mean it will vary depending on your image and the settings that you shot with this was completely shot um, in natural light at f1.8 with a with an 85 and ISO 50 um, You can see the settings right above here All right, so I'm gonna go into the orange and I'm also gonna up the orange to about this point as well and With the yellows what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the yellows all the way down like so and do same with the greens and do same with the aquas as well i'm going to go down into the blues and also move that down to about this point and i'm going to move the purples and push it towards the blue also um, quite a bit so i'm going to push it all the way till i begin to see that the sky is looking a little bit bluish so i'm taking all the purple out and pushing it more towards um blue somewhere about this point is great i think i kind of like it now all right so the next thing i'm also going to do is move the magentas and it's just a little bit of magenta but i'm going to move it um, down a little bit like so and i'm going to move into saturation so it's going to just determine how saturated we want the colors to be right so i'm going to saturate the reds um, a little bit like so Somewhere about here is great. I'm gonna do the same with the orange, but I'm not gonna saturate that as much. So I'm gonna move it down or up in this case to about this point. And I'm gonna push the yellows all the way up because I'm trying to maintain her original skin tone. I don't wanna 
like overdo her skin tone i don't want it to be like an overkill or something of the sort so i'm just trying to maximize the colors that we find i'm gonna add a little bit of green to the image as well and with the aquas i'm also gonna push them all the way because it's gonna affect the sky a little bit you see when i move into the luminance and into the camera calibration as well so i'm moving the aquas all the way up and with the blues i'm gonna go up as well so somewhere about this point now you can see the sky is turning really blue and that's what i'm focusing on i don't really care about how it's affecting the skin because we have another tab to tackle that in so inside of the purples i am just gonna minus that and just pull the saturation out like so all right i don't think we can affect a lot of magenta um but yeah i'll just pull that down as well all right so i'm gonna go into luminance and inside luminance again i'm gonna make the reds a little bit lighter or brighter um, just so it shows a little bit more and the same with the orange i'm also gonna move it up a little bit as well um to about maybe just about just a little is fine then the yellows i'm gonna pull down the yellows this time because i don't want it to be as bright and with the greens i'm just gonna brighten it a little bit and the aquas i'm also gonna brighten them as well with the blues i'm just gonna push the blues out and you're gonna notice how it's making it look a little bit more saturated so that's what i want i'm still focusing on the skies a little bit and i'm pulling i'm pulling the purples down as well yeah i'm just gonna brighten it a little bit like so the next thing i'm gonna do is inside split toning and First, I need to see how much, because when I start sliding the hue slider, you don't see any change, right? So what I want to do is move the saturation all the way up. We can adjust that later, but I'm just going to move it and till I find a color that I like. And as soon as I think I like the tone, I'm going to stop right there and then just bring the saturation down to a point where I think is decent. And now you notice you've been able to cool down the image a little bit in the highlight area. I'm gonna keep the balance the same. So I'm affecting the highlights and the shadows basically the same, but I'm gonna do the same thing, move the saturation up so I can see the colors that I'm gonna choose. And in the shadows, I'm also gonna move up as well. So when I find a color that I like again, I'm gonna stick with it and then just bring the saturation down till I find a range that I like. But I think I'm gonna just maintain the same 20 that I defined for the highlights. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is remove chromatic aberration and enable lens profile correction. And because we shot it with an 85 1.8, it's gonna automatically adjust that. But I'm still gonna add a little bit of vignettes because I like it when um, the light is focused on the subject. So just a little bit about here is fine. All right, so inside the effects, I'm just gonna add a little bit of grain. I don't want so much, and so I'm just gonna keep um, the grain to about this point. All right, so this is where we're gonna finalize the image a bit before we do a little bit of cleanup and stuff like that. My shadow level, for example, I'm just gonna move it towards the magenta like so. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the red as well. So to about this point. And I'm gonna saturate it even more. Somewhere like this is great. All right, so inside the green primary also, I'm gonna shift it like shoot the yellows a little bit more towards green um, to about this point and I'm gonna saturate it even more now inside the blue primary I'm gonna shift it towards blue just to cool it down a little bit so I'm just gonna do it this way and the saturation I'm just gonna up it so the blue looks more saturated so somewhere about this point is great I'm just gonna zoom in um, into the image just a bit and I noticed there were a few spots around her legs that I can get rid of so I'm gonna select my spot remover tool once again and I'm gonna uncheck show overlay just so I don't have that overlay um, present whilst I'm selecting and editing so I'm just gonna basically get rid of the spot get rid of this drag up Get rid of this, get rid of this. Basically just the same way we do spot healing inside of Photoshop. It's the same thing that we're doing. And again, um, the engine of Camera Raw is almost the same as Lightroom. And so if you don't have Camera Raw and you have Lightroom, you can do the exact same thing. And I, th I even think it's even more flexible inside of Lightroom. All right. 
just getting rid of um, these spots some more the veins on her legs and just get rid of those like so all right let's get rid of this and do the same thing here get rid of this line right there so we're not aiming for like a very high-end retouch we're just looking for a usable image something that's gonna look clean and not so edited and so we're not even doing frequency separation at all um, this is just slide dodge and burn so it would even be to your advantage if the model that you're shooting has really good skin and she has amazing skin she has amazing skin so I feel like I'm cheating <laughs> All right, so I'm just getting rid of these little spots on her leg. All right, I think we've captured everything. Awesome. All right, now over here I selected heal and that's why it's doing more of a healing job, but I can clone as well. So what I'm gonna do is now I shift it to clone and maybe just fill in the hair. Cause I don't like the gap that it's showing. So I'm going to keep painting until all the gaps in the hair are gone. I think I like how far we've taken the image. Do a little bit of dodge and burn. And so I'm going to hit my adjustment brush and I'm going to zoom in a little bit select my adjustment brush up the exposure so we're gonna start with dodging so I'm just gonna start focusing on areas like these and I'm again gonna uncheck the overlay so it doesn't disturb um, what I'm looking at so just dodging areas like these wherever there are highlights basically I'm just going to go over the same way you do dodge and burn inside a Photoshop is the same thing we're going to be doing here as well. Just like that. Go down to the legs. So we're not aiming again. We can't like, we're not aiming for like a overly retouched image. We're just looking for something decent that can be used. And so do not focus too much on the unnecessary things. We're just trying to create a very decent looking image. And do the same thing here. All right, so I'm gonna create a new one and this time I'm gonna push the exposure down like so. And I'm gonna start burning. So wherever there's supposed to be a shadow, or wherever there are shadows, I'm just gonna increase their prominence somewhere like so. This looks great. So I'm just gonna do it before and after. Before and after. And I think I kinda like um, the image. I kinda like where it's, where it's at. It's just, it's just amazing. And in a few steps we've been able to transform the image from this to this only using camera raw now if you enjoyed this tutorial if you've learned something let me know in the comments down below if you think it's something that you're gonna try as well let me know in the comments down below subscribe if it's something you haven't done hit that little red button down on the right and uh share as well let your friends know about this channel and i'm gonna be putting up uh videos like these in the coming weeks and I will definitely, definitely, definitely see you in the next episode.